Hey there, how's it going? Scott Tudena here with my good friend Richard Schuler, the uh, authority on fitness for men and women over 60. Richard is 70 years young and he's teaching this young pup new tricks here. <laughs> we were at the gym yesterday and Richard corrected a few of my issues with the, the bench press. Just pointed out some, some great little tips to help me improve my bench press and I brought him on board here today to, uh, to share those tips with you as well. And a lot of these tips come from your experience and expertise in uh, powerlifting, Olympic yep. lifting, and all those. Yeah. 24 years as a powerlifter, so. <laughs> anyway. So. All right, let's share some tricks. Okay. First, I'm going to, uh, we don't have the bench rack, but I'm going to get down on the bench press here and share some common mistakes with uh, that we see in the gym with men and women doing the bench press. Now, the typical stance that I see, and I've been guilty of it myself from time to time, is Guys are up on their, their toes, if that, and when they bring the, the bar down, it's up on the top of their chest. I don't know if you're getting a good view there, yeah. but it's up on the top of my chest, yeah, almost close to my shoulder. Sometimes, yeah, I'll see guys are yeah. pushing from their neck up, and uh, even sometimes I'll see guys with their feet up on the bench as well. So let's first talk about what the problem is with the bar being up high on the chest like this. Yeah, the main thing is you're just pushing with your frontal deltoids in the top of your pecs. You're not getting any power out of, out of the major part of your pecs or your lats. And for that matter, you do almost all the work with your triceps too at a certain point. In right, and that's where I feel it. I'm feeling my, my triceps tense right now. My shoulders right. are feeling tight right now. And this is a bench pressing exercise. We want to work the chest the best that we can. And right now I'm not igniting all the fibers, the muscle right, fibers in right. the chest that yeah. I can. Yeah. So where, first of all, where, uh, okay, and now okay. Next, well, now before we get to correcting it, what else with my foot okay, up a lot here? Of, a lot of people will have their feet out like this, which makes them, uh, them relax during the lift. And as you're gonna hear about here in a little bit, the le relaxing any part of your body during this lift is the last thing you wanna do, so. And, and why is it the last thing? That well, because do? you're trying to mobilize all the power you can in this lift, because it's really a whole body lift. And uh, if, you, if any part of your body's relaxed, it's like a hydraulic system, and there's a leak in it where it's relaxed. Because, and all of the, um, the force that you're generating with some muscles will just be totally dissipated by that relaxation. So. Right. And I always see some guys that are like, they're in the middle of bench press and their feet are like their feet are dancing. moving yeah. all. Oh yeah, all yeah. yeah. Once, once you start dancing, you're you're uh, done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> and with your with your feet up on the bench. Well, there you know, if you if you have a shoulder surgeon that you're trying to support, uh, this you know, if you fall off the bench or you or lose control, you know, either to the left or to the right, you have no control over what's going to happen. You're just going to come right off the bench and. Right with that weight, you know, uh, whatever it is, uh, you can get hurt pretty bad. So your feet down here though, uh, quick correction, you know, you know, just any instability, you automatically correct by pushing with the opposite foot. So that's a much, much, much safer way to bench. Now so. let's get me into position, because right now my elbows are way up. Okay, let's, let's start, start. At, let's start at, you know, out here at arm's length. Now okay. what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the bar down and touch it at the top of your solar plexus. Okay. The top of your stomach, actually, right on your solar plexus. Now, this is a significant difference from where I was just at a few right. moments ago. But for your, and your setup is your feet are going to be back, so that you know it tightens up. It tightens up your back. It should tighten up your abs, tighten up your hips, and your shoulders are going to be kind of driven down toward your toes. Right. Anyway, okay. Your elbows are in. Now what this and you, and when you bring the bar down, you pinch your shoulder blades together. Okay. Okay, because when you come out of the bottom, you're going to drive it with your lat muscles, and you know that's where the first that's where the first big push comes, and the bar comes up in a little bit of an arc, so that it finishes kind of over your neck, or you know maybe it's just depending on each individual. You know mm -hmm. it'll be right out in here somewhere, but the, but it's not just a straight up. It comes comes up in a little bit of an arc. And that's usually what I see is guys, they're bringing, that's why they bring it right, right down to yeah, their upper right. chest and right up above the head, but it yeah. should be more of an arcing movement. It's an arcing movement from the lower part of your, um, from the lower part of your chest up to, you know, the spot where, you know, it, you're going to feel it. This is the groove where you've got the most, the most ability to push. So the we're looking at, power. we're getting the most power and we're igniting 
the most muscle fibers. Most that muscle hit fibers your because you're getting you're getting all of the pectoral muscles, all of your shoulders, your triceps, your lats, all of the, all of the elements that you really need for a, for a big strong push. Right. And now you at grip. When I asked you, should I be gripping the bar as tight as I can? Yeah. Your um, point. Okay, my point is you should squeeze it as hard as you can and then try to pull it apart. Hard. Yeah, that makes a big difference because <laughs> yeah. it's amazing how I really feel it in, yeah. in the muscles yeah. a lot more. That, that grip yeah, right. And remember, your whole body is as tight as you can possibly make it because, you know, you're not going to allow for hydraulic leaks here. So, so my, my glutes are squeezed tight right now, my legs are tight, and I'm driving my feet in down the, into the ground. They're right, not right. dancing around. It's tight and yeah. tense. And you're keeping that, you know, rear end on the bench. Right. And we were talking yesterday a bit about when you want to bring your feet back and plant it firm down. But if I'm really tight in my hamstrings, I mean my, my quads and my hip flexors, I just have a tough time getting right. my feet back. Well, so. you know, it, it's something you work into. Yeah, anytime you make a major change in your technique, you should probably spend, uh, you know, spend several sessions getting used to the new technique before you try any heavy weights. Because... Uh, you know, it's going to be unfamiliar, and your your uh, your muscles have been trained to do do it a certain way, so they're automatically going to revert to that program when the weight gets heavy. Right. But anyway, no, this is these are the kind of things you need to practice if you want to build up that bench. And man, I saw some big numbers out of you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're looking for even more. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, I I expect you to put up some some serious numbers, man. But. Uh, no, that those those suggestions are the kind of thing that uh, anybody can use to really improve uh, their bench press. But again, and for men and women who don't have a lot of strength right now, if they're using dumbbells, it's going to be very similar. Similar, yeah. Push, yeah. 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 Yep. Very, so very anyway, cool. hey, I well, appreciate those tips, man. Hey, thanks, buddy. Readers so. will appreciate it as well. All right. Hey. Hope you enjoyed it.